Give it up for him, man. It's been a long night. Thanks for riding out with y'all. Keep clapping, y'all, for staying up here all night. It's like 9.30. All right. I had a good time. The next guy I'm about to bring up is the reason why y'all came out here tonight. I had a great time hosting. I won't might be. Y'all can follow me on Facebook and everything. The next guy I'm about to bring up. Good friend of mine. We write all the time. He's on my Facebook page. I know I keep plugging that shit. But yeah. <laughs> I want to thank DJ North or the ones and twos, my roommate. Give it up for him, yo. He did the thing, yo. Please have him rent on time of his bullshit. That's my man, though. Yo. yo, we grew up together. The next guy about to come up, real good friend of mine. Give it up. He's a superhero. He has ashy hands. He has a yellow hat. Wayne Man! What up, y'all? Y'all know y'all want to sing along. I can't thank y'all enough for having such a great occasion and everyone came out. Give yourselves a round of applause. I gotta give it up for our DJ. DJ Now, he is living proof that you don't have to go to jail to make a CD. Living proof. The CD comes out next week, next week, right? Oh yeah. my feet, hostess with the mostest. You guys have made me super popular tonight. The recession said that they're gonna name a drink after me. It's gonna be the African American car bomb. <laughs> It's going to be a shot of Henny and a 40, and we're going to serve it up on rims. <laughs> loving it, loving it, loving it. Ah, don't know where I can start. You guys are just, the, the love is overwhelming. So I'm going to start with this. Oh, Mikey, what's up, kid? Ah, loving it, loving it. Um, so I was watching Bad Porn the other day, and I knew it was bad porn when I started dancing to the music. I'm there, boom, 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 boom. Oh, I don't care what they're doing. I'm going to download this soundtrack. I'll pay $20 for that. That point can stay. I'm glad you guys like that, because I remember the first time I did comedy, I had a manager that was really nervous, and he comes up and he goes, hey, you can't do any black jokes, any white jokes, any gay jokes, any ethnic jokes of any kind. And my first set was like, thank you, good night. <laughs> I had nothing left. And I love when people try to give you help. They're like, hey, so you're going into stand-up, huh? Well, I learned that if you imagine the audience is naked, you'll have a better presentation. <laughs> Not everyone looks good naked. I had to squint. <laughs> the people in the front row, they thought I was a black Asian guy. <laughs> and the people in the back row, they just thought I was Chef from South Park. <laughs> I was way back there. What else we got for you guys? Oh, Whitney Houston is in the news lately. Have you guys seen Whitney? Yeah. Whitney is looking good. Whitney looks so good that after the show, I'm gonna go buy some crack. If she can come back looking that good, I still come back looking like Mr. America. Now doing this so that I can get rich and famous. How rich? Sting rich. You guys remember Sting from the police? Sting made $10 million disappear and he didn't know it was gone. His accountant stole $10 million. How do you not miss $10 million? I know when there's ketchup missing from my bottle at home. $10 million? That's just too, too much money. So, how many guys are on dates, by the way? I know everyone else came to see the show, but who came out on a date? No. Wow. <laughs> that means you're single and we're going out after a girl? I'm still single. Wow, love you. <laughs> well, no, I learned that couples don't want to say that they're on dates because what will happen is comedians will give them advice. And it's right, you know, I am going to. But it's for the guys. I mean, guys, there's just two rules you got to remember. One, you have to clean your bathroom. See, the ladies know what I'm talking about. But the last thing you want to see is you bumping into your lady in the middle of the night and she's playing the Matrix with your toilet. <laughs> Trying not to touch it? You have to clean your bathroom. Tip number two. Fellas, whatever you do, do not ask women to chip in on the price of the condoms. They don't need us that bad. Do what you gotta do. Get brand B. It might be too tight, too small, it might be green, but at least you won't be going to a passion party after. I didn't invent the passion party. 
so much stuff, so much stuff. How many fans of Red Bull we got in here? Red Bull drinkers? Y'all sound like y'all had it right now. No, I love Red Bull. I mean, I'm a Red Bull fanatic, but I learned that if you're unemployed, drinking it for breakfast doesn't really help your goals. Just stick to alcohol. Go back to sleep. Now, like I said, I love Red Bull. I hate the competitors of Red Bull. You got like Monster, you got Krunk, you got Pimp Juice. That's not an energy drink. Those are rappers' names. Put them all together. Make like one big rap group. So, um, what else I got for you guys? Oh, oh. Did you guys know that this is the 40th anniversary of Sesame Street? No. Yep. 40 years of Sesame Street. Who's your favorite Muppet? Elmo! Cookie Monster? Elmo! Elmo! Elmo. Elmo. Grouch! Grouch. No one remembers Roosevelt Franklin. That's a damn shame. Roosevelt Franklin was the first black Muppet on Sesame Street. <laughs> True story. And he was hired for three years and they fired him because they said he portrayed a negative stereotype. You fired the first black Muppet, you created a negative stereotype. <laughs> so I did a Google, turns out that Roosevelt's doing fine, he's uh, living in DC. And he just wrote a brand new book called Sesame This, 35 Years of Oppression. <laughs> Brought to you by the letters F-U. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Thanks for coming out. I am the Rain Man. Hope you guys had fun. I know I did. We'll see you next Wednesday. And before I go, I still got raffle tickets. I'm going to be raffling up tickets to my next show. We've got a couple of shows coming up in the next couple of weeks. So uh, make sure you spend $3 for a raffle. We'll have to drink in like 10, 15 minutes or so. So drink up. Thank you, bartenders. Love you all. Peace. Everybody. Great guy. He needs lotion next time you take another pose for pictures like that. <laughs> oh man. Like you said, we gotta do a raffle. Hey, hey, you put your coats on. Woo!